Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in the world of continuous integration. Our viewer has a question about Jenkins and Git. Specifically, how can I ensure that the correct branch name is checked out when Git SCM finishes the clone in a detached head state? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To address the issue of the detached head state in Jenkins after cloning a Git repository, we need to ensure that we check out the correct branch after the initial checkout step. First, let's modify the checkout step in your Jenkins pipeline. We will add a checkout command that explicitly checks out the desired branch after the initial clone. However, since Git parameters may not be evaluated correctly in Jenkins, we can use the script block to ensure that the branch name is correctly referenced. Finally, ensure that this checkout command is executed before the MS build step. This guarantees that the correct branch is checked out and head is no longer detached. By following these steps, you can ensure that your Jenkins pipeline checks out the correct branch and avoids the detached head state, allowing your MS build step to run smoothly. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To ensure the correct branch is checked out in Jenkins when using pipeline configurations, go to Pipeline, then Additional Behaviors. Select Checkout to specific local branch and enter the branch name or use stock in the input field. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.